Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Miss Yanklo. If you're new here, um, she's from the New Republic. If you're out here, thank you for stopping by. Thank you because you keep watching. I'm very grateful. Thank you for the support. Yay! I'm sure you'll be asking yourself why is she wearing this crown. This is my crown. I'm Queen Esther. <laughs> so, as the title of my vlog say, how Esther has changed my life. So, first of all, when we speak about Esther, what do you think about royalty? First, I love it so much. Se second, favor. So, Esther fasting brought favor to me. So, let me give you more. I think it's 501. Yeah, I found it. Oh, I found it earlier and it closed again. So, Esther brought favor. And uh, let me just give you a little background. I know some of you already know. But you know, sometimes pastors are preaching and then they'll be like, I'm not a pastor, guys. <laughs> but I'm just saying that when they are preaching and then they want to make a point and they will say, Bible person and they will say some of you already know the story and then they'll just make their points. I don't like when they do that because some of the story I don't know. But if you know it, it's okay. I have not yet read the whole Bible and there are some stuff I read that I don't understand yet. So I direct them God enlighten your understanding, open your understanding that you may understand the scripture, you know, at the right time. Do you understand? So a little background Esther um was brought up by her uncle mordecai and um yeah and i'm sure she was a prayerful she is a prayer since when she was young she was prayerful do you know why i'm, I'm saying it? it's because in her marriage that prayer part of her got revealed how in the country in the kingdom there was a king named ahasuerus in niv new international version the bible they call him King Xerxes, 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 anyways, so he was married to Vashti, you know, and then they organized a feast, a banquet, and then he was drunk, and then he was asking his wife, Queen Vashti, to come and display her beauty, you know, and she was like, I, know, I cannot do that, People like too much and all these things, and he got angry, so his friend, the king friend was saying, you must punish her. Because she did that in front of everybody. Other women will see now and start doing that to the husband, you know, and this they disrespect. It will be an avenue for them to disrespect the husband. So we must punish her. So we're suggesting that you leave her, marry somebody else. And this is what happened. You see? But there's more to that. Anyways, we are not into that. We're talking about Esther and the favor, you know. So what happened is that um when Mordecai and Uncle Mordecai heard that yes this is happening there's an advertisement <laughs> to marry the king and he he knew that her daughter her niece um he knew that her niece um qualifies you know so she's like oh there's such opportunity going to it so the women were supposed to do 12 months of beauty treatment. You know, they put you somewhere, they treat you. Surely they'll be training you how to speak to the king and all these things. Do you understand? So um, she did it. So when the time came, it seemed as if other girls were taking the apparel, maybe the bangles, the earrings, like, you know, those things to go there. But they forget that to win the favor is not only physical, it's the spiritual. And Esther understood that surely the Bible did not tell us, but me, when I'm reading, when I study her, I saw that she was praying there, stuff she was doing underground that people didn't know. It was a prayer because the Bible tells us that when she went, Esther 2 verse, verse 15, when the turn came for Esther, the young woman Mordecai had adopted, the daughter of his uncle Abihail, to go to the king, she asked for nothing other than what a guy the kings and the who was in charge of the RM suggested. And Esther won the favor of everyone who saw her. She asked for nothing but meaning maybe other people asked for stuff, Jensen. 
but then she only asked for what the king asked her to do she listened to the requirement do you understand so in our contest here like if you place it in spiritual contest you listen to what the holy spirit is telling you about the situation you are blind there's the holy spirit what do i do listen to the instruction the best friend is the holy spirit will tell you you put there you win the favor of people do you understand you're going for an interview open doors in the name of jesus because you go holy spirit what should i say the bible says, open your mouth i will feel it you know god is saying that so that's it so when she went there she won the favor of everyone do you understand so there were other girls there they're interested maybe in the beauty and all but of course Esther was beautiful you know so she went and won the favor Hallelujah. Hmm. so i'm blessed and highly favored you know there come there came a time in my life last year 2023 when i was going through a lot of stuff there's some stuff i needed and then things were not coming together the way i wanted i was going through a lot in the office like so much was going on in my life and when you know when people send you message oh how are you like they just want to check on you and you say i'm fine i say why am i am i even lying why i'm fine i don't want to confess that i'm fine anyways i was so pissed off so i was like i knew that i was reading the book of look when mary the angel came to mary and and was greeting her blessed and highly favored and she was like which kind of greeting is this you know so i'm like yeah i'm also blessed and highly favored being alive alone is a blessing and i have the favor of god upon my life let me be decreeing because job 22 verse 28 say you shall decree a thing and it shall be established and the light of god shall shine upon you you see so as you decree it will happen so i started saying I will feel bad, I'm, I'm not okay, but then there's how how are you? I will say I'm blessed and highly favored. I just say it's because even if you are going through difficulty, you are blessed and highly favored. Apostle so Joshua said man used to say that don't despise your 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 period of difficulty because this is what God will use. He is using it to train you. And when you have passed the test, it's a test actually. Because you say God use me, use me. You cannot choose what He'll use you for. But God knows you. He knows your ability, your strength, your weakness. So He will use it. Do you understand? He will use it. And then when you are refined, like like gold, you go through it, you are refined. You are so strong that when you see somebody going through the same situation, you are like, I went through this. This is how I overcame it. This situation. So you can give your advice and encourage people. Do you understand? You encourage that person who are same going through the same thing that you went through do you understand so your word keep encouraging me when they feel like giving up the same but she went through the exactly like this so yeah and it will help them you see apostle Joshua someone used to say don't despise your struggle or the difficult thing you are going through because God used it there your testimony later and this is true you see so yeah I started saying I'm blessed and highly favored and then I identify myself a lot as Esther because through the thing you love doing, you love studying and all, you find yourself, you know, everyone on this earth, your character is in the Bible. I'm telling you, just go and find out who you are. Study the character, the thing God needs you to learn. There's so many things God taught me through the book of Esther. I think at, at time goes, as time goes by, we can talk about it like bit by bit. I don't know. I don't know. We will see how it goes. So, yeah so that's it and she won the favor and not only that how i know that esther was a prayerful woman hmm? the thing is when she got married before she got married mordecai told her do not tell the king that you are a jew okay this is what they told her so when she got married she did not say it then there was the noble he's very close to the king his name is a man when they made him being noble they saw it in Esther 3 this one after this event sorry guys King Celsus honored a man son of Ahmad Amidata the Agajet elevating him and giving him a seat of honor higher than that of all the other noble you see all the royal officials at the king's gate knelt down and paid honor to Eman, for the king had commanded this concerning him. But Mordecai would not kneel down or, or pay him honor. You see? So, because of that, he got angry. Like, he must bow to me. Mordecai said, I only bow to God. 
Do you understand? So he didn't do it and this created a problem. So Eman went to plot that, you know those days you just write a decree. He wrote a decree, he went to ask the king to seal it. Once he sealed, it will come to pass. The decree is like that, we must kill all the Jews. Mordecai was Jew. Mm. Mordecai came and told Esther, Esther, this is what is happening. You are a king wife, do something to save us. And she didn't care at first. But then Mordecai said, they kill me, they kill everyone, all of us. You'll be the only Jew left. But they will come at you because somehow, somehow, they will know, they will find out that you are also Jew. They will kill you. See, so better do something about it now before it gets too late. Who knows, you have been placed there at that position as the queen for such a time as this. So guys, anything that God do for you is for a purpose. You know, I listened to that to Joshua Selman, Apostle Joshua Selman, he said one day that the study you are doing now, don't think that you are just doing it for fun. Yes, you are doing it because you want to have money, you want to be something in life. But also, remember that everything is linked to God, even the purpose of your creation. So God will use it. For example, if it is only this degree that you have, that will bring you in the high position. When you are there at the high position, you are the perfect fit to speak to those people in high, in the government up there. You are the perfect person to speak to them, to bring them the word of God. Through your living, through stuff, do you understand? You are the one. So if you neglect what you are studying now, how you will go and change the life? Because God has used you there. God will place you there in the government or up there so that you can see what's going on. Then he will reveal to you the plan. And you use it in the place of prayer. It's come back to how Esther changed my life. Do you understand? It's make you pray because God started revealing things to you. His agenda and you have to travel in the place of prayer. God, you show me this. Okay, this will happen tomorrow in the government. Okay, you pray against it. You see, so that the son of the wicked do not prevail. Do you understand? So God placed you at the position for a purpose. He make you desire something. You see that you desire those things. Is your calling coming like that? Do you understand? So... When Mordecai told her that you have been placed there for such a time as this, don't think that you have been placed as chosen as a queen so that you can live your best life, blah, blah, blah. No. You see? So Esther, mm, it's true. Mm, Esther listen, one of the quality. So another thing, how Esther first changed my life, it helped me to listen. Though I still struggle with that, sometimes I don't really accept what God is saying and I have to fight or even God, what God is using my friend to say, my friend will say, this is, this is it, now I'll be trying to fight, you know, yeah, so she was like, oh, you are right, okay, if it is like that, I will fast for three days, you know, I will not eat, I will not even drink, I will ask my mate to do the same thing, this is the power of agreement, how efficient it is, and you do the same, and tell the people to do the same, they did it, that's what I'm saying, the Esther girl, she was prayerful from day zero, I'm telling you, because if she was not prayerful and they come to tell you this thing, you will be like, okay, I will use my beauty to go and convince my husband, he will listen to me. You see? You see, she will have done that, but mm, the only the first thing that came to her mind was prayer fasting, because she knows the power. And as I said in one of my blogs before, fasting, it does not make God do anything, but it helps you to... Make your flesh quiet so that you can really, really hear from God. Because see, when she did it, she downloaded divine strategy. She was able to hear from God because when she went to the king, you are not even supposed to go there. But quickly, the king held the golden scepter. That one gives you access. If he does not hold it, hmm, you cannot be there. They will kill you. You see? So she entered the palace when the king saw her. He held it so that don't, they don't kill her. So this is another favor. You see? And when she when the king asked, What are you looking for? Why are you here? You're supposed you are not supposed to be here. Why are you here? And then she was like, I want to invite you to a banquet with a man. You see? So the king was stressed. Okay, what do you want? I'm sure something is bothering you. Even half of my kingdom, I will give it to you. You're a king. And you wanna give to your wife, your loved one half of the kingdom men this day you think they can give you things they said they are kingdom oriented you see so choose wisely <laughs> that was a bracket open and, and close so you see so she won't favor so she downloaded divine strategy she, when she went there to the king she didn't say ah oh, i want this ah oh, i want this no the divine strategy she downloaded in the place of prayer she implemented it and this is what 
Esther fast can make you do you going for a job interview for example if you know you cannot fast for three days like this without eating no food you can break it down at the end of the day by six o'clock and eat maybe only vegetable i don't know but somehow you can tell god communicate god this is i would love to do but i can't do it help me should i be breaking it and by the time you finish this fasting god will communicate to you if it is maybe in a job place or exam and, uh, god will motivate you do you understand give you different strategies so when she went there the second time she organized a banquet again she didn't say it was only the third time i think or the fourth time that she was like ah people wanna kill me and king was like you know so he man was already prepared like you were what anything i will give you and you know a king words cannot take it back it's what cannot fall to the crown you see so when they said who wanna kill you mm -hmm. okay let's see so things turn around in her favor can you believe this but this is different strategy because if she had not done that before and then she just goes dead everyone wanna kill me uh because i'm a jew say so i got married to you, you never told me that you're a jew king can say king sisters can say but she lied to me and then they'll kill her as well you know those things you know because king you know the thing see he married vashti before and then they told him the noble told him that no she disobeyed leave her and take another one she, he did it you see so prayer can change stuff prayer make people do and fasting make people do what with their normal brain they won't have been doing i'm telling you i am telling you so this is what happened and see she won the favor because the king has to now ask her to issue another decree because those they when you issue a decree you cannot take it back you can come with another decree that encounter it so another decree was issued so that when they were to fight you know yeah that's it um if you didn't get anything in this flood what i want you to go back with is that esther fasting make you gain favor with god and with man and make you hear divine strategies from God. Those are the things I want you to go back with. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and thank you for listening. Thank you for watching and see you in my next vlog. Bye. And see my crown, Queen Esther. Mm -mm. So bye guys.